Hello kids. Good morning. Today we will see chapter 10 play with patterns. In this chapter we will know about the patterns involving shapes, numbers and letters. A pattern is formed when a set of shapes, numbers or designs are repeated over and over again. Patterns are found everywhere. You can see patterns in the floor tiles of your room, in flowers and in the objects that we use every day. For example, sari, tablecloth, kerchief and carpet. In these objects, repeated blocks of geometrical figures and shapes are used. There are three kinds of patterns. First one, repeating pattern. Second one, growing pattern. And third one, shrinking pattern. Let's look at this pattern now. You must have noticed that in this figure, a circle follows a square and a square follows a circle. This is the pattern rule of this figure. Patterns which show the type of continuity are known as continuing pattern. Let's complete this pattern. To complete this pattern, we will continue the series of the circle followed by a square and a square followed by a circle. Now look carefully. Can you identify the pattern rule here? Yes. A triangle is followed by upside down triangle and then circle. These three shapes are repeated once more in the pattern. Now let's repeat these shapes and continue the pattern. Look at this pattern. We have the box filled with the top triangle. In the second box it is filled with right side triangle and the third box it is filled with down triangle and the fourth box it is filled with left side triangle again the next box it is filled with top triangle children after this box which box will come let's see after the triangle filled with top one we have the triangle filled with the right one so let's draw this Next, we have to draw the box filled with downside triangle. Next, growing pattern. Growing means increasing. It is different from repeated pattern. Here, some boxes are given with circles. First box, we have one circle. In second box, we have two circles. In third box, three circles. And the fourth box, we have four circles. Look at the first box. One circle is there. In second box, it is increased by one circle. And in third box, again the circle is increased. Next, if we move to the fourth box, we have four circles. Here also, one more circle is increased. In each box, the circles are increased by one. That is, one circle is added in each box. This is growing pattern. Shall we see another example for growing pattern? Okay. Look at this pattern. In this, we can see up arrows and down arrows. First, we have one up arrow. Next, one down arrow. Third, we have two up arrows and next is two down arrows again three up arrows listen here arrows are increasing and the direction also changed shall we draw the next one okay after three up arrows we have to draw three down arrows next how many arrows do we have to draw? 
yes you are right four up arrows next is shrinking pattern shrinking means decreasing in this shrinking pattern the size or number of the pictures are reducing or decreasing let me explain with some examples look at this first picture we have 10 squares next 8 squares in third picture we have 6 squares in fourth picture we have 4 squares lastly there is only 2 squares here the number of squares decreased by 2 second picture the number of squares are less than the first picture that is 10 minus 2 is equal to 8 similarly in the third picture number of squares are less than the second picture which is having 8 squares that is 8 minus 2 that is equal to 6 next in fourth picture also squares are decreasing by 2 so we have 4 squares in last picture again squares are decreasing by 2 that is 4 minus 2 is equal to 2